Hello folks, welcome to Artisol Global YouTube channel. This is the project video series from us where we are providing a short demonstration on the projects listed on our website. In this video, we'll give demo on project number ESI0134, fire alarm system. It will mainly demonstrate flame and smoke detector. To start with the video, we are showing a brief block diagram of the project where flame sensor and gas or smoke sensors are interfaced with the microcontroller and the output can be demonstrated in a display. A buzzer is also used to alert the occupants about the fire event. It can be used in many buildings, home or office places. As I mentioned, you can find the list of our projects in our webpage. First of all, for this project, we used Freenov ESP32 Rover microcontroller board. First, we wanted to use PIC microcontroller for this project. Then suddenly we found this interesting microcontroller with camera interface inbuilt. So we thought to demonstrate an example project with this board to our viewers. We'll use this same board for demonstrating camera-based traffic control system project. Also, we think to make uh, another course video series with this microcontroller where we'll teach how to use this microcontroller and its different modules. Please let us know if you guys are interested in the comments section. If we receive more than 20 requests, then we'll start preparing the new course or training video series with Freenov ESP32 Rover microcontroller board. Now, some key features of this microcontroller are, it has 32-bit ESP32 Rover B chip, it has 8 MB PS RAM, which is also called pseudo-static RAM, which can help to increase the size of SRAM if necessary. Basically, you are getting more RAM, which are sometimes slower than the main RAM. However, it uses some of the pins of ESP32, which reduces the number of pins you can use. Moving on, it also includes built-in Wi-Fi module in the evaluation board, includes built-in Bluetooth module in the evaluation board, which we will use in our future demos. It has 12-bit ADC as well. You can use any other microcontroller for this project as well. Some of the potential microcontrollers are PIC 18F4520, Nano ESP32, Arduino Uno, Raspberry Pi Pico. So we used Nano ESP32 in our previous video. Now moving into the sensor part, we'll first talk about flame sensors. So there are different kind of flame sensors. For example, there is ultraviolet flame detector. So it quickly detects the flames uh, weak UV emission from a distance. And we also have infrared ray or infrared flame detector. So this sensor can observe IR radiation emitted by fires using photo detection sensor. So it can do roughly one meter. So we'll mainly use this sensor for our project. There are few other sensors such as UV and IR integrated flame detector, but these sensors are very costly. So the infrared ray or IR flame detector is more cheaper than these other uh, flame sensors. Now moving on to the gas or uh, smoke sensor, we will use MQ2 for this project. So MQ2 is commonly used gas or smoke detector sensor. It has good sensitivity to combustible gas, high sensitivity to LPG, propane and hydrogen, quick reaction to flammable gases like methane and toxic gases like carbon monoxide. Now in display section, we already discussed like different displays in our previous video. You can find the link of the video above. So very briefly, some of the options you can use are any kind of serial monitoring in your PC or in the laptop or phone 
And then there are also seven segment displays and also the LCD. So in this project, we'll mainly use the serial monitoring tool from Adreno IDE. We'll also use buzzer in this project to notify the people in home office or in any building space about the fire breaking out. So buzzers can be categorized into two different types. One is the active buzzer and another is the passive buzzer. So an active buzzer, it has a built-in oscillator so it can produce sound with only a DC power supply. It has polarity and it generates sounds with a fixed frequency. Alternatively, the passive buzzer, it doesn't have a built-in oscillator. It needs an AC signal to produce sound and it can vary the pitch or tone of the sound. So it can be programmed to emit a wide range of frequencies or musical note. So it is similar to a mic. So in this project, we'll use active buzzer. Now moving into the main project we are using Freenov ESP32 rover board along with smoke and flame sensors. Smoke is detected through ADC and the ADC values are shown in the Arduino IDE serial monitor. We also range the ADC values in a way to detect the smoke which is shown in the serial monitor. Similarly, the flame sensor values are detected using ADC and shown in the Arduino ID serial monitor. Now, if the smoke or flame appears, then the buzzer will create the buzz sound with a fixed set of frequency and it will also show that the fire is detected in the serial display. Now we'll show you the demo video of the project. Before going ahead, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you are benefited from our content. Also click the ring bell to get notifications whenever our new video is out. Now moving into the demonstration part, here you can see the serial monitor of Arduino IDE where the uh, gas and the flame data are showing and you can also see in a sub window the demonstration of the main project. So here we have the ESP32 rover board from Freenov and we are also connected the buzzer, the gas sensor and the flame detection sensor here. Now the buzzer is not buzzing or there is no sound from the buzzer because there is no fire is detected which you can see in the serial monitor that the fire detection is saying no and there is no detection of smoke and flame from the sensors. Now if we have some fire or if we have some flame so now we are bringing some flame close to the flame sensor and you can hear the buzzer is making the buzzing sound it will be with a fixed frequency so it will start again So you can see here, whenever the flame sensor is finding the flame, the buzzer will start making the sound. So now we'll try to test the gas sensor or the smoke sensor. So let me just create some smoke. 
so one thing we want to warn uh, the viewers that when you will test the project be very careful with it other otherwise it can create some fire so now if i bring the smoke close to the sensor you can see it is start again generating the buzzing sound so if we remove it it will stop after some time then if we again bring the flame So it detected the flame and it start again the sound. So now similarly if we bring both the flame and the smoke then again it will start doing the buzzing sound. So it will keep buzzing because there is uh, either the smoke or the flame is presented or both of them are here present. So if we remove both the smoke and the flame then after some time the buzzer will stop. So it now stopped because there is no flame or there is no smoke close to the sensors. So this is the end of our demonstration. Lastly, we can also make some other additions to the project like we can add a temperature sensor to detect the increase of the temperature due to the fire. Furthermore, we can send the fire notification wirelessly like with bluetooth or wi-fi so this is the end of this video please contact us if you need help with the circuit diagram for this project or support with the coding part as i mentioned you can find out the list of our projects in our website please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this would like to thank those who already subscribed and helping us to grow our channel. Add likes and comments and give us suggestion of what kind of video you want us to make. Follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter or X and in Facebook. Thank you for watching. See you next time.